I'm a little frazzled right now, but today I am going to show you how to make these two cute little bows. It is a simple process, really easy. Um, this one has a fish tail on the back with glitter and they both are made the same way. I just put them together differently, if that makes sense. I have a unicorn bow tutorial that I did for my daughter's birthday back in June. And I actually thought in that video that I showed you how to do it this way, but I showed you guys another way. And I did have one of my viewers um, ask me about the video and I thought I had one already, but I actually showed you the other way that I make it look like this. So I wanna apologize firstly for that. So I'm going to show you today how to make these two cute little bows. But before we get started, if you are not subscribed to this channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Also make sure you are um, following me on social media so you can get updates of everything that I have going on. If I'm going to do a video, if I'm not gonna do a video, if I have things going on in my life, that prevent me from doing videos I tend to try my best to post it on my social media also if you would like to follow my vlog channel where I've started doing mukbangs you can follow that the link to me and Greg's movie review channel is down below as well as the link to his podcast channel and now my lovely daughter has started her own channel she is 10 years old and she has one video already so I will also make sure to link her channel down below as well and let's get into it so I have my ribbon cut at about nine and a half inches and I just cut some glitter sheet for the center of this one and then I have my fish tail here and the center for my Santa Claus and these are both cut at nine and a half inches the ribbon so you're going to need two pieces. I have hair clips here if you're going to put yours on a headband then go ahead and use headband and just measure it to uh, the size that you're making for but I'm just going to put it on these two little clippies. I do have hot glue just in case I need it and some needle and thread. So I'm going to show you how to do the the ba the more basic one first. As you can see, I kind of folded mine in the center there. And I do that just to give myself like a guide of where to fold in my end pieces. So that's why I do that. Then I just go ahead and fold that in. I kind of overlap mine and I'll show you why. It makes it easier to hold when you're trying to hold this and do the other one at the same time. Now, there is another process. If you want yours to be a little bit more twisted, then you would just take your ribbon and just kind of move it a little as you're holding your center. But for this, I'm not doing that. It may become a little twisted anyway. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. And you can make your smaller you know, just to your liking, this is what I'm making it for this particular video. Now that Autumn's older, I make her bows a little bit bigger than I used to. So now you have your two pieces. Now here is the challenging part. <laughs> Trying to hold these two pieces as you get ready to sew them together. I sew mine just because I feel like it's more secure, but you can hot glue yours, whatever is easiest for you. I used to just hot glue everything, but then I found myself when she was younger that I would always be fixing them. So I just got into sewing them and then that makes it more secure. So this may look a little bunched right now until I straighten all this out. I like to go around my ribbon and before I pull at it, I wanna make sure that I have the thread exactly where I want it. I try to center it because it's still gonna get sewn. So I like to adjust mine before I pull too tightly. So I like to pull mine like super tight. You don't have to, this is just what I do. And then I straighten it out when I'm um, when I'm done. Then I make it look really, you know, pretty or whatever. So I just go ahead here, go in a few times before I finish it off, and then I will go in. This is my final time going in here. So I'm holding this for a reason. I'll show you why. I'm gonna put the needle through this loop. To create a knot like that 
And so I'm just going to cut that off. Sorry about my scissors, guys. I need to get some more sharper scissors. My kids use my scissors for everything, so they become dull. So this actually helps here, the hot glue, to keep your thread down. So I'm going to put the thread aside until we get ready for our next um, bow. So now what I do is I just take this glitter center and just see kind of where I want it. So I'm going to place it right there. Again, if you want, you can sew that on. At this point, I just hot glue everything. And I like to make mine long and then cut it. I know it wastes more fabric that way, but that's just how I like to do it. Now, you can buy bigger hair um, clips if you like. These are just ones that I have on hand. Um, normally, what I would do if I were making a different type of bow, I would go ahead and put the thread through like that, just to hold it in place first. But then I also put some glue here. I'm all for making my bows as secure as possible. So you may see a lot of a lot of steps in my videos. Um, but that's just because I like really, really secure bows. So at this point, I'm going to bring that in. I'm just going to put some glue on this guy. The only thing about these false nails, guys, is the fact that they help me to not get burned. But in any other way, they don't really help me. <laughs> so then I'm going to bring through the other side. And if I need to cut it, I will. So I just like to hold my finger there to make sure that um, it's dry before I let the clip part down. Just because I've had several times where... Um, a little bit of glue has gotten on this part and then it's stuck together and it's a nightmare to try to rip apart. Now you can pull yours tighter in the center as you can see with these I have them pulled a little bit tighter but that's okay. So now here's the part where you go to fluff it up and make it look how you want. If you don't want it this big or you want your ribbon pieces closer together, I would suggest just making, uh, cutting the ribbon a little bit smaller. So here is our first bow. So let's move on to our Christmas bow. Okay, everyone. So now we are going to move on to our Christmas bow and we're going to do the same process. So I don't really need to walk you through this part. So one thing you could do to help is kind of put them in each other so that when you sew, it's closer together and it makes it easier and you're not going crazy trying to hold it together with one hand. <laughs> Same process. Careful with the needle. And I have to say that because a lot of people don't know to be careful with the needle. it put it through make a knot and lay it down with some hot glue So this one's a little different, whereas I put the uh, clip through the thread on this part because I'm adding this to the fishtail. I'm not going to do that. So I just kind of play around just to see where I want it placed. And for this, I put like a lot, a lot, a lot of glue. Again, this is thin enough to sew so if you want to sew it you can so 
So what's going to happen for this is I am going to place the clip on top of the fish tail. So I just hold it there just like I did in the first one until it dries good enough. Okay, so that's really good. So now we're going to take our center <clears throat> and put it on. But what I'm going to do differently is to put the glue in the center just because I want to pull this a little bit tighter than my other one. So I did good this time because I don't have to worry about holding that open. Now you can also line these. If you want me to do a video and show you how to line them with different types of ribbon or fabric, let me know and I will add that to my upcoming videos. So you can always clean this up. You can clean the hot glue and stuff off before you sell them or give them away as gifts. So here goes the part where we kind of fluff the bow up and make it look a little bit prettier so it's not so flat and at this point um to keep it fluffed up you can use some stiffener okay, guys so this is the spray that i use it's by beacon and it's called stiffen stuff and you can use it on your bows to make them um stay firm so like i said if, if i wanted this bow to stay looking like this and to be a little bit more poofed up then let's say this one that the ribbon is longer and it didn't quite come out the way I wanted it to but you know I can always fix that by using this stiff but I hope you like these videos guys and I can give this away or autumn can wear it it's so cute just like these ones are a little bit smaller these would be more like pigtail bows so I actually like all of them but this Christmas one is my favorite probably because the holidays are coming up really soon and Christmas is my favorite holiday. Thank you so so much for watching guys. I really appreciate your support and we're getting so close to 10,000 subscribers. I love you guys so much. This uh, wouldn't be happening without your views obviously. So I really want to thank you and by showing my appreciation is why I want to do the giveaway. We are getting really close so I need to start thinking about what I'm doing for that. So thank you for watching this video guys. I hope you liked it. If you did make sure you give me a big old thumbs up. If you are not subscribed please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Turn your bell notifications on so you get notified every time I upload a video. All of my social media links are in the description as well as the link to my vlog channel, my daughter's new channel, and all the other YouTube channels that me and my husband have. And until next time, bye!